Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I will show you how to capture Yukon Nick on 5 star difficulty. This is the last legendary bounty that has been added to Red Dead Online. At least I believe it's the last legendary bounty. I don't think there's going to be any more, but I could be wrong. But anyways, let me st start off by reading Yukon Nick's poster right here. It says, Wanted. Captured alive for murder and kidnapping. Yukon Nick. Yukon Nikolai Borodin, 50. He is a Russian trapper and hunter, having spent time in Alaska territory, where he has multiple warrants. Last seen near Fort Riggs, sought for the known murder of several men suspected in the disappearance of a brave U.S. Marshal sent to apprehend him. Highly territorial and dangerous, believed to keep a grisly captive. All rewards paid on capture and returned alive. Okay. So this, this game takes place in 1899. The U.S. purchased Alaska from the Russian Empire in 1867. So there still would have been a lot of Russians from Alaska, and he's 50 years old. So I wonder how, you know, he got into the Wild West. But anyways, let's start this video up, and let me let me play for you guys his intro cutscene right here. Bear baiting Yukon Nick. Why, shit. I knew his ways would catch up with him someday. He's a trapper. But maybe more like a feudal lord, way he runs that country up there. It's medieval, I tell you. Anyone wants to trade fur near Nick, they got to be ready for a fight. So I guess that's what happened to get him in trouble. They sent a marshal up there to speak to him a few days ago. Been captured, most like. Don't let that happen to you. Usually, Marshal, it's dogs who fight my bears. Ah, shit, but no you. I make a special case. We'll be fine. But first, we drink. Come on. Not. Okay, now this guy's name is Yukon Nick, and Yukon is the name of the region of Canada that actually borders Alaska. Now, let us let me talk about how to get this guy. So, you can actually spawn in two different directions. I spawn in this angle, but regardless of what angle that you spawn at, this is where you want to go. So, you want to go past right here, and there's actually one lookout on the hill right here, and you can actually kill that lookout quietly without anybody spotting you. And the reason that you want to kill that lookout quietly is so that you can actually take his position, because his position is really good for clearing out all the enemies. So, the lookout is going to be right here, and I recommend a bow and arrow. You can't really melee him because he's sitting down against the crate, so he will see if you try to go up to him, go for a headshot, use your bow and arrow and kill him. So I killed him right there. Then I recommend switching to some kind of repeater because, you know, it's a fast fire rate and a lot of ammo in the gun. Also, I recommend having a scoped rifle like the Carcano that I have right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in the lookout's position right here. Now, there is two bear cages in this mission. Now, the bears, you don't have to interact with them, but you can actually use them to your advantage. And there's a bear cage back here, and I had really bad luck on this on the five-star mission because it was so foggy, so it was pretty hard for me to, to see the cage. But let me, guys, let me show you guys an earlier playthrough of this mission. Now, this, you can see the cage right here. What you want to do is you want to shoot the lock on the cage. When you shoot the lock on the cage, that bear is going to get out and it's going to attack all of them. And when that bear gets out, you want to shoot as many guys as you possibly can because they are going to be preoccupied, at least most of them. Some of them are still going to shoot at you, but a lot of them are going to be preoccupied with killing that bear. And that bear could actually kill a few of them. So it's going to help you out. It's going to create a good distraction. So free that bear, snipe the cage right there, shoot the lock. Then start picking them off, go for headshots with the repeater, kill as many of them as you possibly can. Sometimes they'll come up the hill here to you, but just hold this position. Now, there are dogs down below, but the dogs, you don't have to kill them. And I've noticed that if you stay up here and you keep shooting, the dogs don't really come to you. But if you go downstairs, you go down towards the... I shouldn't even say downstairs, but if you go downhill, that's the correct term. If you go downhill, the dogs will actually go towards you. So you don't even have to kill the dogs. Just kill all the guys here, and you will know when you clear the area out because the little bounty skull symbol will actually appear on the map, and then it'll trigger this cutscene. Regardless of where you are, the cutscene will trigger once you kill the last enemy. So this cutscene plays when you kill all the enemies. Ah, we coming out. Don't shoot! You brought the marshal here. Come to save him, huh? Huh? Hey, please. Looks like you have me cornered here. If I'm going down, he going to. 
Okay, so right after that cutscene, you are put in Deadeye. Now, if you want to save the Marshal, I recommend shooting him in the shoulder right here. You will know that you're doing it right when his gun is going up in the air, the same shoulder that he's holding the gun in. Now, I tried shooting him in the hand, didn't really work, and the Marshal died. I tried shooting him in the leg, didn't really work, and the Marshal died as well. So I found the safest place to shoot him is shoot him in the shoulder, same shoulder that he's holding the gun in. Now, the Marshal is optional. You don't have to keep him alive on 5-star difficulty, but if you want to keep him alive, this is how you do it. You can also shoot right through the Marshal and kill him, and then he'll drop the Marshal, and then you can go after him, but if you want to keep the Marshal alive, that's how you do it. You shoot him in the shoulder. Now, right after this, you want to hogtie him. Do not hit the execute button. Remember, we're taking him alive. Now, this mission gets a little bit more complicated when you pick him up. When you hogtie him, nothing happens, but if you pick him up, a ton of enemies spawn. So here's what I like to do. There's a second bear cage. It's right there. I like to keep my distance a little bit like right there, and I shoot that lock. Right after I shoot that lock, I pick him up, and what I do at this point is I go right behind the house. I go right behind the house for cover because the enemies, they spawn from the opposite direction of the door. So I go right behind the house and I put him on my horse. I had a little bit of an error here where I just dropped him, but I just put him on my horse right after that and I just get out of the area. In the meantime, the bear is actually keeping his gang occupied. They're all shooting his bear right now. They're not going after me, but the bear will die pretty quickly. They will shoot that bear, the bear will die, and then they will go after you. So just put him on the back of the horse here when the bear is distracting them and get out of here. If you want to kill all the guys, then I recommend staying, putting him in the shack and just staying right in the shack and just killing all the guys when they're coming towards you. So just hide in the building and just kill all the guys from the door if you want to kill them. But if you want to get out of here really quickly, this is how you do it. And I like to go out this way from the back here. And I actually take him towards Blackwater. Now you can take him towards Blackwater or Strawberry. The game originally tells you to take him towards Strawberry. And that is a little bit of a quicker route. But for me, this was safer because I went from the back and I didn't have to really deal with as many enemies. Now, some enemies may still chase you. You want to keep an eye out. But as you go towards Blackwater, there's a lot of fields here, very open area, very easy to deal with any enemies chasing you. And that's pretty much it for the mission. I liked in this mission how you can actually use the bear to go after the enemies. That was actually pretty cool, shooting that lock and just watching the bear tear them up. I wish the bear would actually last a little longer because it does die pretty quickly, but that was pretty cool there. I enjoyed this bounty, and this is probably the last legendary bounty, so we'll have to see if Rockstar adds any more. And, you know, I'm excited to see what other DLCs they have. I'm going to have more Red Dead content for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.